Good morning, Penny Panthers. I'm Ashton. And I'm Christina. Today is Friday, January 24th, T-Day. Please stand for the pledge. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of, of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy birthday to Parker Miskowski. Happy weekend birthday to Emmy Gunther, Brady Palmer, Nick Bowman, and Julius Finley. Today, Mr. Urson will be coming on to talk about an event that we have for Valentine's Day. All right. Good morning, Christina. Hi, Good Ashton. Morning. Hi. Thanks for having me on. I heard that we're doing something different with our Valentine's party. Can you tell us more about it? Absolutely. We are doing something different this year. So instead of our traditional Valentine's Day parties and bringing in cards, we're going to do something called Penny Has Heart. Okay. And this uh, this event is about kind of self-care and taking care of ourselves. that number one penny practice. Um, we want to do something different to really bring people together to do a service learning project and to how to learn how to take care of ourselves a little better. Why are we not doing the party this year? Well, we thought about um, doing something different this year. We have 800 students this year, and sometimes the parties can get a little bit uh, too hectic in our, in our school. So um, we thought about maybe doing something with um, kind of getting students together in a different way. So instead of a 45-minute party, we're going to do a day-long event. So we're going to do a lot of different sessions throughout the day and really have a lot of fun with it. Similar to um, some fundraisers we've done in the past, like last year we did the Saving Winslow. A couple years ago we did the Wild Challenge. So we're going to do something a little bit more fun um, around the day. And the day is actually Thursday, February 13th. It's the day before Valentine's Day because we don't have school on February 14th. Okay, that sounds more appealing. Can you tell us more about it? Yeah, it is more appealing. We have we our staff, um, our teachers, and our, some of our parents have already worked on some of the details of it. So um, a flyer is going to go home with parents um, probably tomorrow or in the next couple of days. So what we're going to be doing is six different sessions throughout the day from like 9.30 until 3.30. Um, one of them is going to be making uh, no-sew blankets, like those blankets where you tie around the edge. Um, and then we're going to also be doing about learning how to have a heart-healthy snack, so some, a snack station, which is always going to be popular. Um, we're also going to be um, assembling snack packs for Ronald McDonald House um, for helping you know, people in need. Uh, we're also going to be doing some mindful movement activities in the gym, so you'll get up and be moving around in one of the sessions. Again, these sessions are about 35 minutes long. We're also going to be doing some guided relaxation. I know some of you like to do the mindful minute some healthy breathing and just some ways to keep take care of our, our, our body and our mind during the school day. Um, and then another one is going to be a heartfelt compliment activity where in the years past we've had a former student come in and do a notes for the elderly. That'll be a station as well where we can write notes to the elderly and then we give it to them on Valentine's Day. They love it. And then finally there's a, an activity called Have a Heart and that's going to be kind of our Valentine Day kind of our Valentine card activity. So for example, um, instead of bringing in a card that has my name on it and I drop it in Ash's box and Christina's box, everybody's going to get a, a pink piece of paper and you can customize it however you want. I tried to make it kind of look like a heart on both sides, but I realize now it looks like a dog bone, but oh well. It's uh, kind of like a bow. Yeah, it's kind of like a bow, like I could wear like a bow tie. You know, like this. <laughs> okay, so I put my name in the middle. And then what we're going to do is in the classroom during this one 35 minute session, you're going to walk around to your different uh, all your peers, and they can write a little comment about you, like something that um, shows how you're a good friend, shows something about you. So, and some teachers, we're gonna, and I'm going to let the teachers know how to do this. Some teachers may want to do um, stickers, or they can put word a word bank up on the wall or up on the, the smart board, um, or they can do emoji stickers. So we're trying to figure out some fun ways to really spice up your Valentine. Or you can do the old school way, just get a marker and write in a, a comment about that. So, or about, about that person. So, for example, I asked Ash and Christina to sign mine, and Christina said, you are a caring and good principal. So that made me feel good. Thank you, Christina. And then uh, Ash said, I'm funny and kind. So, okay, so that, that makes me feel good. So I can keep this Valentine forever, maybe hanging on my wall, and it shows that um, people care about me and did some, some took some time to talk about, um, about me. So, so have a heart. That'll be a fun activity there. Will we have recess that day? Well, of course we will. That is a very important thing. I know it's a hot topic. We have to have recess, and you will have lunch. It'll be the exact same time. So the middle of the day, we're not changing the schedule for that day. Well, we switch classes like we did in the Wild Challenge a few years ago. Well, we won't be like 
switching classes with different kids, you'll be staying with your class. So you'll be switching classes, so you'll be going through all those different sessions, so everybody in the whole school gets to do the no-so blankets. Everybody in the whole school gets the uh, heart-healthy snack. Everybody in the whole school gets to do the, the um, have a heart activity. So it's kind of like a, a rotation, but you'll be staying with your class. Are parents going to help with this event? Yes, absolutely. We need lots of parents to help because there's a lot of crafts and a lot of movement, a lot of kids moving around the building. So we've asked for about 80 parent volunteers, and we're almost full. So parents are really stepping up already, and we'll have lots of parents around the building helping in the different sessions and different classrooms. So if anybody has questions or needs help with something, uh, parents will be able to help. So obviously, lot. the teachers will be here, too. That's a lot of parent volunteers. It is. Should we still bring Valentine's cards? You don't need to. Yeah, I don't think we need to go out and buy Valentine's cards because you'll be getting um, that type of feel through our Have a Heart activity. So everybody gets to create their own Valentine. Um, and I, I like the fact I'm having... I like the fact of having, you know, one Valentine note or card about about me rather than having like 30 different ones. Um, this will be kind of nice to have as a um, a way to look at how that day was spent with with my friends. Is this a fundraiser or a service learning project? It's a little bit of both. Um, the, I'll talk about the service learning. Um, we are going to have a donation uh, where all the different grade levels are going to donate some sort of item or items, and all of those items are going to go into these um, butterfly wagons, and they're going to go to Children's Hospital. So we are basically, instead of raising money for Penny this year, we are going to raise money to help support our students um, and our peers that are down at Nationwide Children's Hospital. Some of us have spent time down there. Some of us have a relative or a, a sibling that has spent time down there. So we know that that's important to, to make them feel good, especially around Valentine's Day. So we're donating all of these items, and uh, they'll be like coloring books and Play-Doh and bubbles. bubbles and Legos and card games. So we're going to, each grade level is going to have a different item to donate and then we'll donate all of those and put them in wagons and then we will bring them down to Children's Hospital. So that's going to be our service learning project. Okay. Will we do our normal math, math and reading lessons that day? Probably not. We're gonna, it's really going to be focused on the self-care and service learning. So we're not going to be doing our standard math lesson and reading lesson and 5-6 math and all that. It'll be a day discommitted to self-care and service learning. Are there any other important things we should know or remember for that day? Yeah, we're going to try to kind of promote culture and, and, and bring us together by wearing red. So everybody, all in the entire school, all the uh, teachers and the students are encouraged to wear red, like Christina did today. And that's a way just for us to promote um, coming together for Heart Awareness Month. And have a heart. And it's going to be on again on February 13th. Thanks for having me on. Yeah. Wow, Ash, doesn't that sound great? Yeah, I'm really excited. Make it a great day at Penny Chop.